what is going on guys fmu here and this is the opening day of the new season plus a season preview sort of type thing so coventry city is our home uh, we all know what happened last time out bit of a crazy ending to that video that is for sure but we're here today at the rico arena and we're going to be taking on exeter uh in our first league two game at home uh so we're going to have a look now at the ins and outs uh, that have gone on. And um, to be honest, there's been a lot of departures. Uh, David James actually came and went. I signed him. Then he literally decided, I'm going to retire at the end of this season. So, um, well, the end of uh, the month that I signed him in. So I was like, well, June, the month after. So I was like, fair enough then, mate, off you trot. So uh, I released him literally a day after he signed, which was pretty funny, to be fair. Um, then John Fleck joined Birmingham City for 725k. A couple of lone players went out. Uh, Danny Swanson, Jim O'Brien, Raider Johnson's contracts expired at the end of the season. So I said to them, would you like to go now? Because they had teams interested in them. They were like, yeah, that'd be sweet. So they all left. Um and then, like I said, a couple more lone players have gone out. In terms of incomings, Shaquille Coulthurst, I love this guy, always have done. One of the players I always do try to pick up on this game. Uh, football manager in total, he's done fantastic for me over the years. I think he'll absolutely boss this division, uh, given the chance. Uh, hopefully, anyway, I've got. A, I'm very positive about him. Matty Robson's a player that knows this division. Come on. Knows this division very, very well indeed. He's been at Carlisle for a lifetime. It seems like uh, 215 games, 23 goals. Before that, 135 uh, games, 13 goals for Hartlepool. Knows the lower leagues very well. He's been in this division uh, for quite a while. Uh, in and around this division for quite a while, should I say. Uh, oh, no, he hasn't. On this, I'm thinking of real life. In this, he's been league one. <laughs> for quite some time but um that's not right because carlisle weren't in league one. Oh yes they were this was sorry oh this is before the update sorry my bad um before i downloaded the update database wow 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 um and of course i i can find what you you know his ability at this level speaks for itself this guy does know this league like the back of his hand. He's been in it a long, long time uh, in his career. You know, he's done a lot, done the rounds in this division and he scored the goals in this division. So we know that he can be relied upon to help the young lads through. Luke Varney, experienced head, picked him up from Rotherham on a free. Um, very good player, should do really well at this level. Never played at this level before. <laughs> Uh, the lowest he's played was League One uh, with Crew, So I'm hoping that he will, you know, I think he will do well in this division because of the player that he is, you know. Um, Daniel Ekin <laughs> Ekindiani. Ekindiani. Yani, yeah. Danny Ak, we'll call him. Danny Aki, we'll call him. Um, I'm sure it's Akin. Dayini, Akindayini, sorry, missing out the eye there. Akindayini, very fast, former Tottenham player, came through the ranks there, snapped him up on a free the second he became available. Uh, one, it's quite good because him and Cole first know each other from playing in the under 21s up at Tottenham. So hopefully they will be a ready gelled uh, duo playing if they play together. Nicky Maynard, love this guy. Um, Goals, goals, goals should come from him. Uh, injury prone, I know, but I thought for one one thousand eight hundred pounds a week for a year's contract or two year contract should be able to. If I work around him, we should be able to keep him fit and hopefully get him going on the goals front again and maybe going forward to pick up a few pounds for a transfer. Stuart Nelson, a goalkeeper I lo absolutely love to bits. I know the guy from coaching stuff in real life. He's a really nice guy. Goalkeeper I rate highly at this level. Um, 
I've always liked him, always signed him on this game when I can, uh, if possible. Um, and I'm hoping that I don't know who I'm going to go for. <coughs> Excuse me. In the number one position, this guy or Burge. I don't know yet. It's difficult to call. Marcus Chambers from Hayes. Didn't play for them last season, but I like the look of him. Uh, there's something about him I quite like, and I think we could possibly uh, be able to kick him on. Although his stats have plummeted. Jesus, they have plummeted. That was like um, his dribbling was about 11, and his finishing was 10 or something, 12, 13. Wow, that's changed a bit. But he's a big guy, he's 6'3", he can play both footed, 13 stone. Uh, he's got decent strength and stamina. So I'm hoping we might be able to do something with him. We'll have to have a look and try and work with him and see what we can come up with. But he, he looks like Mr. T, doesn't he? I ain't drinking all milk, fool. What's this? Fucking phone updates. Go away. And then for me, one of the absolute beast bargains of the season so far. Uh, Sammy Amiobi, released by Newcastle. I have one of those conversations. Not interesting in coming. Or please. No, I'm not interested in coming. I want to build a team around you. I'm interested in coming. You know, those conversations. So, guaranteed to be a decent player at this level. Um, guaranteed to probably want to move on halfway through the season because we're in League 2. And guaranteed a whopping profit if we do sell him. So, you know, a no-brainer for me. And only £1,200 on wages. So, that was an absolute sweet-ass bargain. Very pleased with that. So, in terms of the squad... Let's get my view um, back up. So in terms of the squad, I'm very pleased with it. Oh, yeah. When I moved over last season, I forgot to tell you this. I brought Danny Racky with me from um, from Bedworth. So his gamble on dropping down from league leaders high to Bedworth has kind of paid off because now I've moved to Coventry. He's come with me. I'm going to give him the rope. Now it's up to him whether to climb it or hang with it. So, you know, it's down to him now. I can't do no more for him. And Michael Potts, I've decided to take the chance to bring him up as well, um, just to give him that opportunity. And we'll see what he does with it. I'm not going to expect him to be brilliant. I'm not going to expect him to pull up any trees, but we're going to give him a chance and see if he can surprise a few people. Youngster wise, um, these two guys were highly recommended by the boys in the uh, coaching team he's actually played two games for them last season uh, looks fairly decent okay stats so we'll you know we'll we'll try and use him throughout the season see how he does uh, same with Chris Flynn he's the one that uh, you know on the club page they say that he's the one to watch so we'll we'll utilize him he hasn't played for us yet but uh, we'll see if we can't perhaps get him involved at some point and see how he does uh, the other goalkeeper, as I was talking about, is Lee Burge, who was asked to leave because West Ham were looking at him. And uh, I think that's what his slight concern is. He wants to move to a bigger club, yeah. Um, I said you can go if they match your price tag. And I set it to 500k and they lost interest. So, you know, it's up to him to make put the performances in now to really kick it on and get a lot of interest in him. Uh, blah, 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 blah. James Madison in real life is a big, big player for Coventry. He's going to be one of those that moves on. I have no doubts about it and does really well for himself. Hopefully, as long as he keeps his head on his shoulders, he'll be all right. And uh, this, I think, if he has a good season, good start of the season for us, we could possibly see a big coming for him. Same Connor Thomas, a few years back, went on loan to Liverpool. We have a trial at Liverpool, never worked out for him. Dropped back down to Coventry and he's been there ever since. We have the opportunity now to help him to progress and become a very good player and possibly move him on for a decent amount of longer. Um, this guy as well, George Thomas, um, he was on loan at the meeting last season and he got 10 goals. So I promoted him to the first team. I'm going to give him an opportunity at some point to show what he's capable of in the first team. Um, our captain is a player who I've signed in many previous incarnations of football manager, uh, Aaron Martin. I've decided to give him the captain's armband because 
he is a good player and I do like the guy uh, on the game. He's got decent leadership skills. He's a good age and I think he will help the younger players but not patronise the older players, if you know what I mean. I, I get the feeling he'd do all right. And the number two is an academy product, Jack Finch, who kind of looks like the... Um, if you watch the middle... Uh, Sue, the daughter with the braces, she hangs around with this uh, gay lad who does dancing, who actually isn't. I think, isn't it? He he acts gay, but in that they say he's not gay, but he clearly is. I can't remember anyway. Uh, but he looks a lot like him. So <laughs> there you have it. I may pop a little picture up on the screen now, just so you can have a look. Maybe he doesn't look loads like him, but to me, he looks a bit like him. Anyway, I digress. We're gonna see how he does but i think he's he's going to do all right as the uh deputy for mr martin so today we're going to go up against exeter um who are still managed by tisdale and they've been doing a little bit of decent business in the transfer window um from what i saw oh she knows i apologize michael chopper's gone there i don't know if that was a coach yeah it was, oh no yeah there he is michael chopper He's through the door. Um, 31 was at Aloha last season. Got a lot of goals. So he could be a dangerous player in this division. Uh, Sammy Moore from Leighton Orient. He looks decent. Uh, former Wimbledon player. So he, he's good at this level. So he could do well for them. And uh, Adam Buxton. Accrington player. Right back. Knows the division well. So he could be a bit of a danger. They let some good players go. Um... Aaron McClellan, Danny Butterfield, Jesus, that's a blast from the past. Danny Butterfield, 35 now, wow. Um, Aaron McLean as well, I don't know how well he did for them at this level, not brilliantly to be fair. But uh, yeah, they're, they're some decent players though for this level of uh, football to be honest. But yeah, so they've they've done, for me, those three players are very good business. Um, in, my, in my humble opinion anyway. So... Um, the season preview has us at fifth, so we're fifth favourites to go up. Notts County and Pompey, the top two, with Plymouth and Chesterfield, then us, Yeovil, um, so forth. I'm going to say for Dark Horse, I'm going to pick a Dark Horse this season. I reckon. I'll have a little look at these a moment, and. I'm going to say. I think I think Wickham are going to upset the apple cart a bit this season. I think they may have a better season than they're expecting. So we'll see come the end of the season if I was right or not. Wow, Pompey signed Ryan Tunnicliffe. That's a decent move. Jesus. Jeebus Christ. Uh, let's have a look, see if there's any others that stand out to me. Um, 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 um. I don't think there's many. This guy, I saw him move to Northampton. Former Nottingham Forest guy. I think he could be a tasty player at this level. Uh, players to watch. Andy Proctor, definitely. Very good player at this level, Andy Proctor is. Um, Sylvian Evans Blake's down here now. Obviously, Chopper, we spoke of. We've got Maynard and Amiobi, which are two of the big hitters by far at this level. That's where, you see, that's where it's been really good for us because of who we are. We've managed to attract good players. Anthony Sarsevich will do brilliantly at this level again, I imagine. 25 goals and 86 appearances for Fleetwood. He got relegated last season, but he scored 12 goals. So, you know, he's going to be one to keep an eye on. Um, let's have another look. See if there's anybody. Edna Stevens down at Portsmouth, former Villa player. Uh, Bentley, the goalkeeper, very decent. Um, that's about it, really. Um, that I can think of, that I can spot on there. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'd, I'd agree with that as Proctor being probably the one of the best players to watch in the division because he is very good at this level, very good. Winard as well at Accrington Stanley, uh, the defender. No, David Dunn, bless. He was with me at one point, if you remember. Very briefly. Where is Winard? Have they sold him? No. Is 
Dean Bernard. It is. Well, they have the son to. Uh, he's moved to Plymouth in this this transfer window, on a free bugger. If I didn't even notice he was up, God, if I knew he was up, I'd have had him. I like him. He's a very good player at this level. Very good player. But anyway, enough of who's good. Let's get on with this opening day fixture. We're gonna jump in now. I've done them on three um, formations: the Controltron and the forty-four of Hinkley. We've also gone with my attacking for four two, which I used to use uh, at Hinkley in the early days. So we're gonna start off with that. I'm gonna quick pick it and see what it throws in. Then I'll call first on the OD Finch. Why does he put Finch in the central midfield? He's more of a defender. No, no, he's a defensive. No, oh, no. Oh, shows what I know. Awkward. Um, Racky's out. We'll pop you on the bench. We'll leave you out. Akin Fem was on the bench. Is he? I think it may have started actually hammering it down outside. But that's the lineup we're going to go with. I'm quite happy with that. We'll go with Virgin Goal. Phillips, Martin, Willis, and Haynes at the back with Varney on the wing. Connor Thomas and Jack Finch in the middle, Ami Ovi on the other wing, Cool Thurston and Maynard. That is a that is a pacey set of lads, to be fair. That is a pacey bunch. And then on the bench we've got Potts, Robson, Madison, uh Akin Dini, Lawton, George Thomas, and Akin Femwa, the beast. Uh and then Marcus Chambers. I'm gonna leave him out for now. And uh, we'll we'll see going forwards. And obviously, Racky is suspended, so we can't use him. I can't give a number. Oh, Georgie boy. Let's give him number 21. I think you're worthy of a, a lower squad number. So, we've had a game. We've had uh, Yeovil beat Northampton 1 0. So, Yeovil have already got off to a winning start. And they're starting with Chopper up top. Oakley. Is that Pat in midfield? Pat Baldwin's a good player at this level. Decent defender from Colchester, man. Good player. And then Ryan Harley. This guy. He had the whole world in his hands when he moved from Exeter. Um... When he moved from Exeter to Swansea, he could have done, you know, he could have been a real player. It just never worked out for him, but he's back there now, 30 now. So it's a shame, really, because he, he looked a real player at one point in the Football League, anyway. So let us see. Hockaday. Wow, well, that was helpful. Uh, do team speech. Well, you, I'm not going to leave it in his hands very often. But away we go, guys. Uh, opening game as cop manager at the Rico in League Two. And Nicky Maynard's offside already. 11 minutes in. 14 minutes in, nothing's happened. This is a enthralling tie to open up with. Chopper's offside now. They're going to score, aren't they? All well cleared from Varney. Come on, get it. Finch, Maynard, call first. Out to Varney, back to Thomas. Here comes Amiobi, Finch. Oh, saved Amiobi! 1 0, 30 minutes on the clock. Fantastic breakaway move from the boys there. Fantastic stuff. And we are 1 0 up. Just tapping away on the old uh, desk here, burning a bit of time while we wait for this to catch up with itself. Beautiful. Look at that. Great interception by the defender. Finch's effort saved, maybe a bit unsighted, and then Amiobi just sort of toe poked it into the bottom of the net. Fantastic little move to break away and get that goal. Question is now can we kick on and work from that? You know, move on from it? We'll have to wait and see. Not very keen on this 4 2, uh, 4 4 2 formation so far. Um, cautiously guard against complacency oh look at this idiot stressed he is a terrible goalkeeper in real life Lee Burge to be fair um, oops, sorry hitting the microphone there I've seen him play several times and uh, he's been at fault for nearly every goal I've seen him concede 
Haynes. Oh, what a free kick from the boy. Superb stuff from Ryan Haynes. Did not see that coming. So early in the second half, 36 seconds in. Oh, oh, it took a deflection. Oh, look at that. The old bow and arrow celebration as well from the lad. Superb stuff. Are they going to go down the other end and get an instant equaliser? Martin, back to Burge. Tried to find Cool First, but couldn't. Now Cool First on the ball. Here's Amiobi. Amiobi. Maynard. Oh, we've got a third. Straight from the kickoff. Two goals in a matter of a minute and a half. Superb stuff. Amiobi, look at that. Just jinking away. Maynard slots it past the keeper for 3 0. Superb stuff. Very pleased with that. Right, let us. Probably going to be like for likes, to be fair. I can't see the point in changing things too much. Uh, although, you're going to drop to the right back and Phillips is going to come off. I thought actually Finch can drop up there. And if we pull you out, and we'll give Potts a run out today. And we'll give the big fella a run out for Nicky Maynard. <laughs> We'll give that a go. I know Maynard's only just scored, but with his injury proneness, I want to protect him. It's time to call first. Varney. Penalty. Jamie McAllister. It's just falling apart for Exeter here, isn't it? Absolutely falling apart. Varney's stepped up to take it. Dangerous. Goal. 4-0. Superb stuff from the fellas. In front of the Rico crowd, which looks surprisingly high considering we're playing in League 2. Very high for a Rico crowd, to be fair. But it probably won't be as high as it looks. Hold on, Thomas. Come on. Nichols. Grimes has got one. Ashley Grimes has got one. Let's have a look at uh, the positioning there from Burge. That is poor from Burge there. Poor reading, but poor defending also. Maybe being a bit, diff you know, bit, being a bit hard. I've just noticed down the bottom as well, Ryan Tunkless got uh, sent off for Pompey. And he's been a naughty boy. But here comes Potts. Come on now, call first. Oh, whacking Fenwa. Look, fancy running. <laughs> you know, you running at the same ball as Akin Fenwa in that situation. Nichols, put it wide. Look like a defender for, forced the mistake from him there, which is good. Um, you know, they've put an enforced error on him there. More cut out by Willis there. This should be the final, you know, closing moment highlight for the game. Get in. A fantastic performance on the opening day. Fantastic stuff. You've got nothing specific to say. Are you some sort of idiot? I'm just going to tell him I was very pleased with that in a calming manner. Well, guys, that was a fantastic opener. Fair play to Ryan Haynes. He's had a fantastic... Uh, Ryan, Yeah, Ryan Haynes. He's had a fantastic game. Uh, Ami Obi did. Call first. Good to see the players have um, come in, you know, settled in quite well on the ending day. But then again, extra one of those teams that I don't think are expected to do brilliantly well. So, you know, we'll see. My, my surprise package didn't start off well. They lost 1-0 to Dagenham. So, shows what I know. But a fantastic little one they'll win. Very pleasing. And uh, let's have a quick little look around. See if there's anything of interest going on. Like I say, Pompey. Notts County, the favourites, could only manage a 2-2 draw. And that will come after. Oh, look at that. Pompey 2-0 up. Got a player sent off. Boom, boom. Well, they had the player sent off before they went 2-0 up. But at 2-0... You'd have fancied Pompey to see it out, but that's why can't County the favourites. They pulled it back to 2 2. Fair play to them for that. Tramir, my boy Jacob Blythe, this young man here, this young man Jacob Blythe, he lives not far away from me. Um, spent last season in real life alone at uh, Burton. Ta da! Ta da! He used to play for Bedworth and then Eaton Griff, so. He's a guy I know. He's got a lot of friends in common. I'm friends with him on Facebook, to be fair. 
Uh, he's a good lad. So he's got a goal for Tranmere, which is good. And Max Power, the man whose name you cannot touch. He's uh, he's a player that interests me. If we had some money, I may look at bringing him in, but we haven't, so we can't. Quality of possession provides victory. Quality of possession, we only just snuck it. 8,000 turned up to that game, so that's pretty good, to be fair, for this level. Um, Amiobi made his debut. Haynes impresses the 19-year-old fullback. And that's pretty much it, guys. We've had a good opener to the season. That was his first ever goal for the club as well. So, guys, hopefully you found this video enjoyable in some sort of form. Uh, please remember to hit the like button. It really does help us all out. Uh, if you're going to comment, don't be mean. Keep it clean. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.